Okay, so I'm out in the shop today working on leak prevention again. Now what I discovered when I was turning my knob from a quick change tool post, up front I got all the leaks covered. Not a problem. But what was happening was the coolant was running down the bed and it was going down the back, leaking into here and leaking down onto the table and down onto the floor. So, what I did was I colored this with magic marker so it wouldn't be directly on the bed and I put these dams of caulk right here. Okay, that's great. So now the coolant comes down, stops, pulls up right here, but now it leaks over the side this way. And as you can see, my bed, my tray stops right here. And so this is still that same platform. So what I got to do today is I made this cardboard template. And uh, it's going to go in like so. And it's just going to uh, direct the water. As it comes over the side, it's going to hit this and direct the water towards the coolant tray. So now what I've got to do is just trace it onto some more sheet metal, cut it out, bend it, and then put some silicone and get it sealed in. And hopefully that will be the end of my leak situation. But we never know. All right, let me get this traced out and cut. smooth. I didn't have my zero quite right looks like. But, uh, See this. Very smooth. So what happened was when I ran it the first time, I was doing uh, 15 inches per minute and I was only doing about 800 RPMs. And this time I went 10 inches per minute at about a thousand RPMs. And you can see uh, very smooth. Uh, that'll polish right up and considering the, this is just a very fine tip on the end of this uh, 
pit. Very nice, very happy with that finish. So that's what it was. I just needed to uh, tweak the uh, feed and speed a little bit and uh, turned out real nice. So that's an update on the feeds and speeds. Hey guys, one thing else, another thing I wanted to point out, uh, the first time I turned this quick change tool post knob, I had coolant running all over the floor. And so I've solved that problem. And let me show you what I found and what I did. What was happening was the coolant was running down the rail, actually down in this little groove. And it was coming all the way down to the end. And then it was running down the back and some of it would go straight down and then out to the floor and then some of it would come in here. The stuff that went in here was good because this piece right here is kind of angled. You can't really see it, but this is sloped toward the center, which is cool. So anything that lands in there will just go down. So what I did was I just put a bead of caulk right here. I, I covered the steel with some uh, a sharpie actually so that the silicone wouldn't be in direct contact with the metal. Uh, someone mentioned something about it causing it to rust so I didn't want that to happen. So I built this dam basically of caulk and so what happens now is the coolant runs down, hits the dam and starts to go over the side and I added this piece right here and it just channels it down into my pan. So that took care of that problem and now I am leak free. Seems like the front is holding up. All that seems to be working. So yeah, it's just a, it was just a matter of the back there. Anything that spins around on the chuck gets caught up in the shield and the way I've got the shield made it keeps everything inside. So really pleased with the way that that turned out so that's just a leak update. And uh, got all that taken care of. Maybe there's something useful, some useful information in there that will help you out. Uh, if you encounter the same issues that I have. So, so far so good. Pretty pleased with all the tests that I've done so far. And, uh, it's turning out, uh, quite well. Uh, another thing I had to do here was I had to cut a little bit off the end of my chuck key because it was hitting my panel for my enclosure there. It's still pretty tight, but it's good enough now. Uh, so you can see the finish that we've got on the knob. Very pleased with that. Got that all worked out. This is aluminum, so we'll turn some steel and and we'll keep progressing through and, and just see what we come up with. So that's the uh, feed and speed update and a leak update. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe by clicking on the link below. Have a great day and most importantly, be safe.